In this video, I'll explain about just-in-time liquidity in Uniswap B3. Let's say that Alice is a liquidity provider, and her position is in the current price. I've highlighted this in purple. Next, Bob swaps tokens. This will move the price from P0 to P1. From this trade, Alice earns some swap fees, and she is happy. This is how normally a liquidity provider will earn some fees. Next, let's take a look at how just-in-time liquidity will change how the liquidity providers earn fees. Again, we'll say that Alice is a liquidity provider and her position is in the current price. And again, Bob submits a transaction to swap tokens. Here is where things get different from the first example. Here, Justin sees Bob's transaction in the mempool and then front runs Bob's transaction to add liquidity. Let's say that this is a transaction mempool and inside it, there are some pending transactions. Inside here, Bob submits his transaction to swap tokens. Justin sees that Bob has submitted a transaction to swap tokens. And then he submits a transaction to add liquidity. He makes sure that his gas price is higher than Bob's transaction so that his transaction to add liquidity comes before Bob's transaction to swap tokens. Justin's transaction to add liquidity is processed. And then next, Bob's transaction to trade tokens is processed. Let's say that this will move the price from P0 to P star 1. Let's take a look at what this looks like on a graph. Before Bob submits his transaction, the current price, let's say, is at P0. Justin sees that Bob submitted his transaction and then front runs Bob's transaction. Let's say Justin has a lot of liquidity to a narrow price range, including the current price. This is shown in red. Let's compare the liquidity provided by Alice near the current price and how much Justin has provided. Close to the current price P0, Alice has provided about this much liquidity, whereas in the same price range, Justin provided this much liquidity, a lot more than Alice. So what this means is that when a trade executes between this price range, Justin will earn the majority of the fees. Bob's trade is processed and the price moves from P0 to P star 1. Take a note here that the price change from P0 to P star 1 is less than the price change from P0 to P1. Here there is less liquidity, so the price moves a lot. Whereas over here, there is a lot of liquidity around the current price range, so the price moves very little. This is called just-in-time liquidity. Justin sees that Bob has submitted a transaction to do a trade, and front runs the transaction to add liquidity so that he can earn a lot of the trading fees. With just-in-time liquidity, Alice earns very little fees. So this is not good news for Alice. On the other hand, Justin earned most of the fees. So he is happy. How about Bob? Well, Bob got a great price for his trade. So he is also happy. Well, why can't we say that Bob got a great price? This is because when there is more liquidity, there is less price change. To put this in math, P star 1 minus P0. The price change from P0 to P star 1 when Justin added liquidity is less than P1 minus P0. This is the price change when Bob traded on this liquidity without just-in-time liquidity. So in summary, just-in-time liquidity is bad news for Alice, good news for Justin, and also good news for the trader Bob.